The movie was very interesting. I liked how it was filmed and the story was great. The ending was a little bit disappointing, but overall it was a great movie. These are the top 5 most popular non-fiction movies. 5. The Imposter, 2012. The Imposter is a 2012 documentary film directed by Bart Layton. The film tells the story of the 1997 kidnapping of Nicholas Bartley, a 13-year-old boy from San Antonio, Texas, who was later found in Spain, claiming to be 16-year-old Frederick Borden. The film explores the events surrounding the kidnapping and Borden's convincing impersonation of Bartley. The film is fascinating and disturbing in equal measure. It's fascinating because of the lengths that Borden went to in order to fool everyone, and disturbing because of the ease with which he was able to do it. The film raises a lot of questions about identity and how easily we can be fooled by someone who is skilled at deception. It's also a reminder that we should be careful about who we trust. The people in Barclay's life who should have been looking out for him were instead taken in by Gordon. It's a cautionary tale about the dangers of blindly trusting someone, even if they seem to be who they say they are. The Imposter is a must-see for anyone interested in true crime or in exploring the nature of deception. It's a disturbing and thought-provoking film that will leave you questioning everything you think you know about people and identity. 4. Inside Job, 2010 Inside Job is a 2010 documentary film about the global financial crisis of 2008. The film was directed by Charles Ferguson. It premiered at the 2010 Cannes Film Festival in May, before being released in the United States in October 2010. The film tells the story of the global financial crisis of 2008 from the perspective of those who caused it. It features interviews with financial insiders, including former chairman of the Federal Reserve Alan Greenspan, former Treasury Secretaries Henry Paulson and Timothy Geithner, and other key figures. The film received critical acclaim, with many praising its insights into the causes of the financial crisis. Inside Job won the Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature in 2011. 3. Food Incorporated 2008 Food Incorporated is a 2008 American documentary film directed by Robert Kenner. The film examines the industrial production of food in the United States, particularly the meat industry, and discusses the negative health and environmental effects of the current mass-produced food industry in the U.S. The film starts by talking about how the American food industry has changed in the last 50 years. It used to be that small farmers raised most of the food that Americans ate. But now, a handful of large corporations have taken over the food industry. These companies use factory farming to produce food as cheaply as possible. Factory farms are huge operations that cram animals into small spaces and feed them a diet of corn and soy. The conditions on these farms are often very cramped and dirty, and the animals are often sick. The film discusses how the food industry has been able to keep its practices hidden from the public. For example, the film talks about how the industry uses labeling loopholes to avoid disclosing what's in their food. The film also talks about how the industry has used its power to influence the government to pass laws that benefit the industry, while harming the public. The film argues that the current food system in the U.S. is not sustainable. It is bad for our health, the environment, and the animals. The film ends with a call to action, urging people to support small farmers and to demand change from the food industry. 2. An Inconvenient Truth, 2006 in 2006, former Vice President Al Gore released a documentary film entitled An Inconvenient Truth. The film brought to light the very real and pressing issue of climate change, and the need for immediate action to be taken in order to mitigate its effects. An Inconvenient Truth was not only an important film in terms of its message, but also in the way that it was able to reach a wide audience and change the way people think about the environment. The film starts off with Gore giving a presentation on climate change, which he has been doing for over a decade. He begins by showing the audience some of the images that have become synonymous with the issue, such as melting glaciers and polar bears stranded on melting ice flows. Gore then goes on to explain the science behind climate change, and how human activity is causing the Earth to warm at an unprecedented rate. He talks about the greenhouse effect, and how the burning of fossil fuels is releasing more and more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat, causing the Earth's temperature to rise. Gore presents a number of other scientific facts about climate change, such as the fact that sea levels are rising, and that extreme weather events are becoming more common. He also talks about the potential impacts of climate change, such as mass migrations, food shortages, and conflict. He talks about how we need to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, and move towards renewable energy sources. And he talks about how we need to take action now, before it's too late. An Inconvenient Truth is a powerful film that helped to raise awareness about the issue of climate change. 
It is important because it showed the general public that climate change is real, and that it is happening now. It is also important because it showed that we need to take action to mitigate its effects. The film was successful in reaching a wide audience, and in changing the way people think about the environment. 1. March of the Penguins, 2005 March of the Penguins is a 2005 French documentary film about the annual journey of the Emperor Penguins of Antarctica. The film follows the Penguins' arduous trek to their breeding grounds and their battle against the elements. The film is a fascinating look at the natural world, and the Penguins' journey is an incredible example of the strength and determination of these animals. The film is also a reminder of the importance of conservation, as the penguins' habitat is under threat from climate change. March of the Penguins is a must-see for anyone interested in the natural world, and it is sure to leave you with a new appreciation for the penguins of Antarctica. We hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.